Getting Debbie something for Christmas is never easy. In fact, the older you get, getting anybody something for Christmas is never easy because so many of us have so very much. And Debbie started saying, I don't know, a month or so ago, Eric, I don't want anything for Christmas. I just want to go someplace together. Let's just go someplace together and do something. So immediately I started thinking about all the cheap trips that I post on Pastor Eric's great deal of the day. And I started looking at trips to Paris that I could find, great trips to London. I started thinking about places in the United States that we've never been to that we could fly into cheap. I tried a lot of different things. And then it occurred to me that it's been since the 1970s since I've been to Catalina, not fishing. I come here to fish a lot but actually come and hung out in Avalon. So Debbie hadn't been here since the 70s, I knew that, so. I thought it'd be fun to bring the kids, Julia, her family, John and his family, and just all of us come. I never imagined how expensive Avalon was. We could be in Paris right now. But I also never imagined how much joy it would bring Debbie to watch her as we just get started on this first evening. I think to know what you want is a good thing. And then when you realize, you know what? I can do that. And then to do it. Because when I knew what she wanted, then it was easy because I thought to myself, I can do that. You want to be the miracle in the year to come. If you really want to lay claim to what it means to step out of mediocrity and into that miraculous spot in life, Look at the things that you can do. I'm guessing, like us, you already have way more clothes, way more stuff, way more things than you need. But maybe some adventure time together. Maybe that's what you could use to step out of mediocrity. Maybe just to be a little bit more miraculous. Know what you want. Can you do it? Step into it. And then just go for it. It's been an insane last month. It seems impossible for me to imagine. Today's December 26th, and just a month ago was two days till Thanksgiving. And we were still begging for turkey, still begging for dressing, still hoping that everything came together. And now here we are, in the aftermath of Christmas, in the aftermath of everything we did for Christmas, in the aftermath of Thanksgiving, and taking a few days off to be with family, just enjoying time, because Debbie knew what she wanted. And I realized I can do that. When you know what someone wants and you think to yourself, yeah, I can do that. The best thing to do is to do it. 2020 is out ahead of us. I'm excited about the goals I'm setting for our Fit for Life class. I'm excited about what we're gonna be doing at Central Community in the year to come. I'm excited about what's happening in my own life. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about the possibility of spending some of it with you. Let's have a great 2020 together. Let's reach our goals. Let's have fun. If like me, you're at a spot in your life where you're thinking a lot of good things have happened. Let's continue and do some really fantastic things this year. Come with me. Let's do some fantastic, some miraculous things together. Let's be the miracle together. God bless you. Have an absolutely fantastic week. See you when we get back from the island.